Warning, the following gameplay you're about to witness is rated mature, 17 and older, for one or more of the following reasons listed. Please enjoy. <laughs> Hello, travelers! Welcome back to another episode of Game Time with Movie Man. We have some new content finally. Now, this should be uh, this is going to be one of three downloadable content packs that um, Bethesda is, re is releasing for The Evil Within. I played through that whole game. As you, if you already saw my playthrough, if now if you have not seen The Evil Within playthrough, I highly recommend you watch this first. Unless you're just you know you don't have the time, you want to for some reason just only watch this, then by all means look up the wiki or whatever. I'll go over, I, I, I could make a separate video entitling like my different theories on the whole game, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. I know a lot about the story, I kind I, I basically understand what happened in the first game and what might have happened before, but this is supposed to shed light on the character of Julie Kidman, and um, I'll just go to downloadable content here, in something called The Assignment. This is where she finds herself within the darkness of STEM. STEM being the company that puts Sebastian and all the other guys in the machine, the STEM machine, confronting Ruvix, Ruvix and his uh, her own personal demons while pursuing her mission. We don't know what her mission was, except for, maybe, I think, Get Leslie, but you know what? Starting it now. Ooh, side door. Creepy. So I've not played any of this, in case you can't tell by the whole just starting it up. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. It's already different. The Evil Within, the assignment. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's kind of different. That's a neato. Alright, here we go. We're going to be playing as Julie Kidman. I don't know how similar her controls will be to Sebastian other than her clicky clacky heels, but, uh, new game. A cat. Oh, jeez. Operating room. Uh, no, let's, let's have it brightened up a bit just for the sake of, uh,. You guys, if anything. I don't think I should do it. Shit. Alright, let's see how much story is revealed. Chapter 1. Oh, it's gonna have chapters too, that's great. And now, I've heard it's about a four hour um, thingy, which uh, for DLC that was part of a season pass and all that, which I believe the season pass was 20 or 25. First, uh, first release being four hours isn't too bad at all. I don't know how many chapters that entails, I think anywhere between 5 and 10 probably. But, uh, I can't wait. Oh, I get to play as a new character. I like that in DLC, too, when you get to play not only new levels, new actual segmentations for story, but also new characters. And I won't, I'll try not to talk during the cutscene unless something really crazy happens. So here we go. They existed together, but each saw things in their own way. It was as if each patient's consciousness filled in the blanks, creating their own reality. Test notes from Trials by Dr. Mar Marcelo Jimenez. Do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. Oh, shit. <laughs> cough, cough. Are we in the ambulance? During that one crash and getting into the game? I have no idea where we are. Tch. Those tight pants, though. I still don't get why she wears heels out in the field. Well, this is the ambulance crash, isn't it? Oh, hell it is! And, of course, I don't have my gun. Because why would I have my gun? Oh, shit! And creepy man's gone. Great. Okay, we're right into it. Chapter one in Oath. Cool, new character. And I have no I don't think I have any weapons. Let's see. Yeah, there's the wreck. What is Seb Sebastian done in there? No blood. Or anything. Yeah. Sebastian will be here later. Oh, it's really cool. New character. I know I keep saying that, but ah. Uh, okay. I have my sprint, I have my sneaky sneak. Cool, I like this. All right. Well, I already know this map layout, but things are kind of different, I can tell. The crash, I wasn't alone. weren't Sebastian. Where is right? everybody? There was still Sebastian and the one other um, officer, and then Jimenez and Leslie. I know the path, and there was a creepy man. There's the dead thing. 
Things seem a little bit different. Uh, that wasn't there before. What the hell? Oh! I hear Le I hear Leslie. Oh God. I hear ya. Shit. Oh, well, uh, if I go down here, not going back, I suppose. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, it's you! Sorry, detective skips and creeps off. Yeah, no guns. Oh damn! Oh shit, get off! Oh my god, get off! Ow. <laughs> I guess my heal is good for something. <laughs> You've acquired a new melee weapon! <laughs> Your heal! It looks pretty good right here. That's interesting. So what, we all we all confronted our own version of this particular, not really reality, but I don't know. Oh, well, now I got, got blood on me. That's nice. Well, that was a... Shit. I've got to get out of here. I got to get a gun. That was a little interesting encounter. Oh, what is that blood gonna fade? I swear, if the blood fades and doesn't just doesn't stay on me, I'll be a little bit upset. Okay. All right, two different paths. Let's try this way first. Hey, you're static. Is the blood gone yet? It is not. I don't think so. Not good. Oh God. Do I have melee? Oh, hang on. A stem document. KCPD criminal record, charge information, juvenile offense, juvenile offense, record expunged, record expunged, offense, record expunged, criminal trespass, destruction of property, grand theft, receipt of stolen goods, vagrancy, underage consumption of alcohol, shoplifting, resisting arrest, burglary, possession of controlled substance, intent to sell. Well, who the hell is this for? Anything else? Just the one document? One of those trophies for this DLC as well. Probably is. I walk in these heels. Oh god. Oh shit! Static. It smells like blood. God, I hear something. I need like. God. Go. Shit. I'm getting some head trips here. Oh God. Hey, where's Joseph? Oh jeez. Oh, my mind, my man. Shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, my melee is I kick. I do. Wow, I do. Oh shit. Ah. My head. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Get me out of here. Leslie. I see Leslie. Leslie. Ah, jeez. The static. Settle down, Leslie. Wait a sec. Yeah, Leslie. 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 Leslie Withers. Yeah. What? I'm sorry? Kid, I need you focused. I need your attention. Uh-huh. This is a serious matter. Everything we do is a serious Why am I this matter. far away from your desk? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie right. Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. But he's something more. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM system. Without this asset, our research will mean nothing. I don't understand. We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. Huh? 
The boy is a leverage piece. Poor guy. Jimenez plans to activate a stem prototype at Beacon without our uh. permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come. Take oh, I would be, I'd be able to... I could see his face from here, regardless of the lighting. Ridiculous. Alright. That answers a little... Oh. Oh, cat. With a red ribbon. Hi, kitty. Hi! Oh. What? Oh, I just chill. Hey there. Hey. Where did you come from? Oh, is this my place where I save? Okay, new game, new time slot. Um, there we go. I was about to say I selected it. Okay, cool. Interesting. Oh, this is where I come and save. Yeah. Like this is my safe haven, the place where I was assigned the job, I guess. Hmm. Very weird setup for an office. Kitty. Let's go then. That answers the question. And the the stem that's in the basement or the whatever. Of, oh oh, all oh, the faces are blurred. That is weird. Well, this is this is stem. This is uh. Huh. What's over here? Escalators. Ground floor. Let's go this way. I'm guessing we want to go this way. No? Where, where are we going? Was I right the first time? Uh, oh yeah, I see green over here. There we go. Oh, jeez. Huh. Experiments are going on in here. Yes, my dog is barking. I can hear you. Which way do I go? That door. That door's red. Is there anything I can collect over here? Uh, I'm just impressed she can run in those heels at all. Authorized personnel only. Uh, above my jurisdiction. All right. Oh, is that the guy that's waiting for me? I just can't see anyone's face at all. Oh, more of his design for walls. The hell? Do I use this? Huh. Because I have clearance. Escalator up. Oh, jeez. If Jimenez activates the system, you'll be pulled in. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't. But as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion to prevent contamination like a vaccine to protect oh. me more accurately to hide you. okay we developed stem but there is a ghost in that the ghost system. is rubik something we call yeah rubik. it means to keep us something out. you mean someone you call rubik. this infusion should protect you to some okay extent. i'll have protection for the most part that kind of explains some stuff but okay interesting Go, shall we? Why send me alone? You won't be alone. You'll be with your team from KPD. True. You'll get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. Uh, Everything will be arranged. Right, right, right. But there are consequences of little value. You say that now. In regards to your mission, they're expected. Oh, are we? I like the camera angle here. Oh, shit. Oh, hook Sit me down. up. We must have that All boy. Right. He will enable us to change everything. Can I see your face now? I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. Loyalty is a sensitive subject for oh, us. Right. Trust 
is such a valued commodity in today's world. So once again, I ask you, do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. Now you must back up your words with actions. Very well. Do Ugh. not waver. Oh. Now I'm going to count down. Needles. And when I'm finished, I'll ask you a series of questions. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh shit. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Creepy place. I might have to shut my door if my dog keeps barking, so apologies there. Okay then. Uh, I'm in. Oh yeah, I'm in. Ow. Uh -huh. Oof. Lovely. Oh. 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 Uh. Uh. Chicky Poo, why are you walking towards it? Oh my god! The hell is that thing? Hey! Oh yeah! Call Anyone? out to it! God. Got a much of a clue as Sebastian did. Great, now I'm just in a reverse version of this place. Ah, oh, shit, I might. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't tell me. Am I not gonna get a weapon at all during this DLC? Because that would really suck a lot. Checkpoint. Anything over here? Please? reason it wants me to go that way. Probably. Oh, it's blocked off. Can I not go back the way I came? Nope. Alright, let's go then. Back ways it is. Oh, jeez. A flashlight? That's my light source, I guess. No lantern for me. So here, new weapon. Better not run out of batteries. What's going oh, on? Oh, us using the flashlight. Where did everyone go? Well, L2 to focus. Oh my god, I hear that. Why do I want to focus my flashlight? <laughs> That's my only like item, not even a weapon. Alright, let's do this. How do I turn it off? Do I just unequip it? Or can I not turn- oh jeez. Great. Dead body, I'm sure you're dead. I only have melee- I still only have melee. You're dead too. Jeez. Alright. Let's go. Um, how am I supposed to get this open? Oh, damn. It's a hell of a lock. That's gonna come in. Uh, is that a person in there? That's someone. Uh, uh, help! Hey! Oh, he has stem gloves. Guess I'll go help him. Lock from the inside. Um. Maybe there's this another vent lane. right here, perhaps. This vent right here, perhaps. I guess not. 
or what, whatever the hell this is. Oh, that was a vent. It's just the wrong one. I hear him. Oh shit. Please. No. Your no. Leslie. Oh god. I saw heels and a very creepy fucking voice. Oh shit. Oh my god. Someone that wanted his body. God. Let's follow the trail and find out what did it, guys. Ugh, what is that thing? Let's go. I swear, it's just a bunch of running and hiding. Oh, great. It's in the vents. What's this? I'm afraid that the fragile mental states of the subjects are limiting our studies. Mobius wants us to move past beacon patients and onto more stable people. They want to get STEM closer to its intended use. Would they see the world in the same way? Would a sane mind weather the psychically draining experience? I had that dream again. I entered the STEM myself. Hmm. Oh shit. Using cover. Oh, it's got classic uh, circle cover mechanics. Control luring enemies. Wall and cover call to enemies to lure. The oh, it's gonna. I don't even get weapons. Are you kidding me? Also, can I please put away my flashlight? Like. <sighs> I'm hearing shit. Oh, jeez. Can't it just be standard combat? Ah. Uh. Okay. So, how are we gonna do this? Okay, idea. How does she not see my flashlight? Over here. Okay, easy. Easy. You didn't see shit. Come on, hurry! Made it. Oh, look, it's the box head safe. Health recovery. I don't need to stand still to, com to completely recover health. Do I not get weapons? I want weapons. Whee! Was that the actual original safe of Rubik's? Well, I don't have a. Do I need. Two sets of code? Oh, I know, I see bloody fingerprints over the numbers. I don't know what code the, what the code could possibly be. Are there any clues in here? A locker to hide in? Do I just need to figure it out? Okay, let's see. Start with the bloodiest and move on from there. That, 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 that. Done! Letter scrap one. Okay. Figured out that puzzle, all right. Do I go back? Surely not. 
I have to hide in the lock. Oh, can I? Oh, do I move this? Oh, I do. Okay, cool. Alright, let's find whatever that creepy ass thing is. Easy. Oh, creepy hallways, yay. Oh, bottles! My, my old friend! Alright. Oh shit. Going back, going back. Ha! Oh. I'm gonna use the restroom if you don't mind. Oh, this isn't a restroom, it's an office. Anything of use in here? Just a side room? Idea. I throw the bottle in the office to distract him. After he comes back by this way. I know how to call an enemy! Stay right here. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, ooh, child, things will be brighter. You have one eye, sir. Somewhere, yeah. Okay. Idea is throw my bottle. And there. Okay, right, right, now go follow the sound. I'll stay back here. And go follow the sound. Can I just kill him? Like, surely if I just meleeed him enough. Oh my god. You heard the sound. Glow, explore the sound. Maybe I should have waited until he was closer in this direction before I threw the bottle. The world may never know. Are you going to explore that noise or nah? Wow. I'm gonna try to beat him up. If I die, I die, but I wanna try to beat him up at least. Oh, can I not beat him up? Oh my god, health goes by fast. Oh, no, they have a weird thing about them. Well, that was the first step I had. I can't even melee them. It literally has to be a stealth sequence. So we may be on chapter one for a while, apparently, if this, bot, if this mechanics are going to be this way. Anyway, stay tuned for the next episode of Evil Within's the assignment. I'll put me back here, that's awesome. Goodbye, travelers.